Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So in front of us is the all new 2023 BMW i7 xDrive 60i. This model is finished off in oxide gray metallic with an MSRP just over $141,000. Now what powers this all new fully electric BMW is a 101.7 kilowatt lithium ion battery paired with two electric motors and a single speed transmission. It pumps out 536 horsepower, 549 pound-feet of torque. That power is sent through the xDrive all-wheel drive system. It weighs in at just under 6,000 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in four and a half seconds with a top speed of 130 and a total range of 318 miles. I think this is a very, very nice all new 7 Series, but I will say the front end is a little bit odd. The kidney grille is much larger. It still retains a forward facing camera along with a sensor, which I think could be integrated a little bit better. This does have active grille shutters though, parking sensors, a lot more cutouts in the lower section to provide cooling to any of the front components. Now on the sides, there's also parking sensors along with these inlets to provide even more cooling. And for the all new headlight, DRL and turn signal design, which are all LED of course, the DRLs and the turn signals are in that upper uh, sleek strip with the headlights and the high beams in the lower section. So it's definitely a bold look for this sedan. I love the lines in the lower section though. And then there's two lines that come down the hood on both sides of the BMW badge. Everything else is very sleek, but it almost looks like it's lifted in a sense with all the gloss black in the middle and the bodywork on the sides. I still think it looks very luxurious though. Just of course a bit different for a new model. Now for the side, this has a set of 21 inch wheels. Blue brake calipers are just behind that, which are regenerative of course. This has a two-tone design with that multi-spoke pattern as well. And then in the lower section, there's more gloss black and more sensors. Now these doors can auto open and close, so the sensors will help with that too, of course. And then this has body colored side mirrors with a camera along with the turn signal, full panoramic roof. All the window trim is blacked out too and it matches the door handles very nicely. They have more of that exposed look, so you just have to reach in and then pull on the backside in order to open that up the rest of the way. Now you can lock and unlock it from all four doors too. Now the side is a little bit more sleek compared to the aggressive front end design with all the lines that run down it. And then that leads us to the rear with this gloss black spoiler, very, very small, but gives it a good accent. This has LED taillights with that dark housing, the backup camera is also right in the middle of the BMW badge. Now, as you've heard this vehicle keep beeping, it has the proximity sensor. So if I get farther away, it locks. As I get closer to it, it will unlock. This also has parking sensors, more gloss black in the lower section. And then to open up this power trunk, you can use the button on the key fob or the one that is right in the middle of that trunk lid. Now the back seats do not fold down, but you still have a good amount of storage for this model. There's a cubby over on this passenger side, a little bit more of an indention so you can put in some bigger items and you even have extra storage underneath the floor. So it is pretty usable. You have a cutout too, which I'll show from that angle. And then with the power trunk, all you have to do is push a button and it will automatically close. Now, as we work our way to the rear with these door handles again, simply just put your hand in. You will pull on this once it is unlocked. So I think I do have it locked at the moment. So there we go. And then once I open this up, this door panel is beautiful. All leather. This has the 18 speaker Bowers and Wilkins audio sound system. There's lock and unlock, the window control too. This is the release button. However, there is a manual button in case the battery dies for whatever reason and you have some storage in the lower section. We'll come back to this screen here in just a second. Now the interior has the full black leather seats and this is just a beautiful place to be. I'm five foot 10 and I have no issues entering this vehicle. Now for the door, I can just actually push on this button. I don't even have to reach that far and it will come to me, pretty cool to see. Now for this pad here, you have a lot to go through. There's the climate adjustments, so you can easily get to all of those settings, which is very nice. You have your seats, so you can go into this, you can go to your different seating positions. Essentially, you have memory seating adjustments for your backseat passengers. You can adjust all of the blinds, putting them up and down, opening or closing them. So as you can see, I'm opening that one right now, or I can stop it and I can close it. You can open all, open all of them or close all of them. You have different modes, just depending on what you'd like to see. And I think it automatically does that, just depending on the mode that you're in. Now for a theater mode, 
Look at this. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to a $4,800 option for your theater screen for your backseat passengers. This is a touchscreen system, so you can go through some information here. I think there's probably more information than what I'm able to go through right now. Oh, there we go. We have the Fire TV that'll load up. You have Bluetooth, different displays that you can go into. You can adjust how you like this, how you want the uh, position of the screen basically, uh, but you do have to have this configured and ready to go. So that is about it. For the review of this screen, pretty awesome to see that. You can also open up that again, but if I go back to, if I go back to home here and I go to display, you can go into theater and then I can fold this back up. So we'll shut off and go back up. Pretty cool to have this over on the door panel, very nice to use. Now you have some storage pockets, you have air vents right in the middle, a little bit of storage in the lower section. And for the center armrest, you actually have a decent amount of room on the back side, along with some auxiliaries. And then if I push on this dial here, you can actually pop out the cup holders. That's all you get for the center armrest. And then from this angle, like I mentioned earlier, you can get some items through if you have some longer items that you need to place in your i7. Now with that up, you have a good amount of visibility. We have that rear uh, blind up at the moment as well as the ones on the side. This is so spacious at five foot 10, I could comfortably be back here. Now, if I don't want to open the door myself, there we go. Basically I have my own chauffeur. I can actually push on it too before I leave. So that is awesome to see. Now entering the front seats, door panels just like the rear. There's all the window controls, power folding side mirror adjustments, lock and unlock, even the massaging seats, different memory seating adjustments. There's crystal, brushed aluminum, the trunk release, storage space, the manual adjustment there. It is so luxurious. It is a very nice place to be. Now I do have to move this front seat back since we did have it forwards for that theater screen. But once I get in, I can actually push on this button right here and it will automatically close. That is so cool to see. Now to fire up this i7, we'll just simply uh, push on the start stop there. And then for this center infotainment system, it's very similar to the system that has come out in some of the other models like the X7. There's not a whole lot of info in the infotainment system, however. So you have this set up here with miles per hour on that left side, and we are currently in one of the uh, themes, which is why the right side looks like that. But if you wanna go through some more information, I can push on this button, and there's a lot of content that you can look at, just different driving information. You have your range, even the augmented reality, so you can see that forward-facing camera. You have the uh, compass as well. You can pull up the navigation, even pull up a G meter, and then there's the music and the radio. So it's nice to have all of those, kind of standard to see those. And then there's three different settings for the heads up display. I don't know if you can see it at the moment, but currently it's showing the compass. We also have a standard view. It's just miles per hour in the speed limit sign. And then the last one will be the assisted view. So you can monitor your distance pacing. That's pretty much it for the center gauge cluster. You have volume controls along with music and Bluetooth controls on this left side. This is for cruise control. And look at the design for the spokes on the steering wheel. It is pretty cool to see that. Now on the left side, there's an air vent. There's also the headlight adjustments. You have the automatic button for the doors. And in the middle, currently you can see it's on the interior lighting, but if I go to home here, now we have the navigation and you can scroll through all this information just depending on what you'd like to see and what you'd like to add. So you can add some info if you need to. You can go through a lot more like the parking. We have the interior lighting like you just saw. You can go to the charging too. So you can monitor all of this just depending on how you wanna charge it, when you wanna charge it, how long you wanna charge it, everything like that. And then on this left side, you can quickly get to some more of those icons. You can pull up music too, even pull up your phone when you have that paired. And then you can monitor the nav in full screen if you need to view all that information. Now, as you've been able to tell, the climate adjustments do not change. So you can quickly get into them, get into the heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. Far right side is for your passenger. So they have the same adjustments. Temperature is also there. So it's very straightforward, easy to get to. Underneath that, there's a pretty cool, almost crystal-ish design going all the way to the passenger seat. We have some fan speed adjustments, hazards, and defrosters. And then pushing on that button, 
you have the glove box opening up for you. Now it is manual to close. You have a decent amount of space there. There's a wireless charger along with two cup holders right in the middle. And then just like every other BMW, you don't have to use it as a touchscreen system. You can quickly get to the navigation, your phone and media. You can go home. Crystal dial is to further go through that info. Start stop is crystal, volume control is crystal, and even the shifter is crystal. With my foot on the brake, we can put this into reverse. You will see that backup camera up here. There's also some uh, depictions on this right side here that you can quickly get to. You have the assisted view, a panorama view, a little bit more widescreen, and then you can also go into these various settings just to give yourself a little bit more visibility. So it's nice to have that 3D view. I can go back into drive. If I push on it one more time, that is for the B mode there. I believe that's for the regenerative braking. It kind of aids it in that uh, helping it a little bit more than just regular drive. Now there is no park, so just by pushing on the electronic parking brake, that will automatically put it into park there's the auto hold there's even the camera sensors which you can turn on and off there's the buttons for the driving settings so you can quickly get into these as needed you can even adjust the height and there's different modes like i mentioned earlier with that background we were in that mode there's also relax where it will change again it will also adjust some of the sunroof settings or the sunshade settings and then tuning is on that right side now right in the middle for the armrest good amount of storage space for all that information this is the place to be. Very, very nice. I currently have the massaging seats on too, so that is nice. Now we also have shortcuts to the interior lighting. You can also fold down that theater screen if the seats are adjusted properly. And then the dome lights are also in the center. But now let's go ahead and get this out on the road. And so with it in sport mode, I'm gonna click on the boost. You can feel that accelerator get a little bit, a little bit more responsive there. And even coming around this turn, Wow, that wasn't pedal to the floor, uh, but this gets up and moves. Definitely a nice place to be. And as you can tell with all the colors currently at the moment, red and blue, that is pretty cool how that's an ambient strip in a sense. But the i7, all new, fully electric BMW, the new 7 Series here, this is nice. There's a lot of BMW tech that is offered in other models like the all new X7. Brakes do a great job as well. So it's not hard to get used to all the tech that this does have to offer. It's nothing really new, but being in an electric sedan is definitely new and a first. But there is so much technology in this. Honestly, being in the back seat is definitely where you wanna be with all those controls and that theater screen. It, it is it is very, very cool. But even if you're in the front seats here, you do have some nice luxury luxuries, like the uh, massaging seats, which I have had on. There's some adjustments, of course, that you can make there to further go through all that information. And it is, it is a nice place to be. I'm not sure what else to talk about. All of the materials are super nice. Obviously, for the price point, you want that ultra luxurious vibe. There's even lighting for the cup holders there which is pretty cool and it actually looks like you can close them too, which I forgot to mention earlier. I just found that out. So that is cool. If you wanna hide those away, you can do that. Oh, but this is, this is very, very nice. We are going to do one last acceleration because why not, along with checking out the turning radius for such a big sedan. So quick there. Visibility is also really good, so I can easily see if there is any traffic. And why don't we give it some beans here? Let's go. Woo! It doesn't feel insanely fast. Like I mentioned earlier, it's a heavy sedan, a lot of horsepower and torque for that weight, uh, but it didn't really put me back in the seat. Now, I'm not saying it's slow. It's does not fast feeling either. But being electric, it's hard to tell because there's no sounds. Now I do believe that you can go into the different driving modes and you can set what you'd like it to uh, sound like. So we were in sport mode. If I go to relax, everything gets changes a little bit. We have that uh, sunshade cover. I'll let that close here real quick and we'll give it another acceleration. We'll see if there's a difference between sport and relax. Oh, wow. I don't know if the audio can pick that up, but it essentially sounds like you're kind of at like a massage parlor or something. You know, it's like that nice kind of ambient uh, sound. If we go to expressive, 
Can you guys hear that? I don't know. <laughs> what in the world? That is interesting. All right, so we have to check them all out. Personal, I believe that you could probably make that into your own. Kind of just sounds like a normal electric vehicle getting up to speed. Efficient was the only one we haven't tried yet. And it's kind of quiet, just like uh, Relax was. But that is interesting to hear. So kind of just a, a gimmick, of course, just to get you some sound. It almost sounds like someone is beeping their horn in Expressive. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that. Interesting, as soon as I let off the accelerator, it stops. <laughs> But that's what you get with the i7. I think that is going to wrap it up for the all new 2023 BMW i7 xDrive 60i. Huge shout out to Hendrick BMW Northlake for providing the 7 Series for me. Check out their website. Also give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. <laughs> and with one last funky acceleration that is going to do it for today's review. I'll see you guys in the next video.